Welcome to our lecture online. Here's our second example of how to deal with absolute value signs inside inequalities. So let's go ahead and try that. Notice how it's different from the one on the previous video where here we have the quantity inside the absolute value signs is greater than or equal to 12. In the previous one it was less than. So we're going to use the rule over here and then we're going to show you how you easily can solve it this way as well. So this is how we start. First of all if something inside the absolute value signs is greater than or equal to 12, that means it's either greater than that number or smaller than the negative of that number. So we can write that 8x plus 4 is greater than or equal to 12, or we can write that 8x plus 4 is less than or equal to the negative of that number, negative 12. And now we're going to solve both of those inequalities separately. First, we'll bring the 4 across over here. So we have 8x greater than or equal to 12 minus 4. 8x is greater than or equal to 8. Divide both sides by positive 8. And we have x is greater than or equal to 1. Or, we solve this equation right here. We have 8x less than or equal to minus 12 minus 4. When we bring the plus 4 across, it becomes minus 4. 8x less than or equal to 16, or negative 16, I should say, divide both sides by positive 8, we get x is less than or equal to negative 2. And of course, this is an OR condition. So if we want to graph that, it looks like this. Here we have 1, we have 0, here we have negative 2. Notice that x greater than or equal to 1 means that it includes the 1, and x less than or equal to negative 2 means it includes a negative 2. And it's greater than that value, so everything to the right of a positive 1. And here it's less than that value, so everything to the left of negative 2. And so that is the solution then of our example problem. But can we solve it like this? And we should be able to. Now notice that this is also an OR condition because obviously x at the same time cannot be less than negative 5 and greater than 5. But if we can understand that that is an OR condition, let's go ahead and try it like that. So let's write down the problem. We have 8x plus 4 is going to be greater than or equal to 12. And so now we're going to employ this technique right here. So we write down the negative 12 greater than or equal to 8x plus 4, greater than or equal to positive 12. Again, this is an OR condition, since that cannot happen at the same time. First, we want to get rid of the 4, so we are going to subtract 4 from all three portions right here. So minus 12, greater than or equal to 8x plus 4, leave some space, greater than or equal to 12. And now we can see that. Where's my red pen? We're going to subtract a 4 from here, subtract a 4 from here, and subtract a 4 from there, which means we have minus 16 greater than or equal to 8x greater than or equal to 8. And now we can go ahead and divide everything by 8. Since it's a positive 8, we do not have to change the direction of the inequality sign. We don't have to flip them. So here we end up with negative 2 greater than or equal to x which is greater than or equal to 1. Again, this is an OR condition. So now let's go ahead and write it graphically. So we have the positive 1. We have a negative 2. We have 0 right there. And notice that x must be greater than or equal to 1. That means it includes 1 or anything greater than that. Or x must be less than or equal to negative 2. Equal to means it includes it, or less, it goes in this direction. As you can see, then you have the very same result as you have over there, as long as you realize this is an OR condition, so you have to take one solution at a time. And so, whatever method you prefer, this is how you do that. 